we're recording? Where? Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Now before I move into this week's topic, you know what I'm gonna do. If you have not already done so, please be sure to like this channel. Please be sure to subscribe to this channel and please be sure to bell me so that you get updates every time I release new content, which comes every Wednesday, except when life happens and then it'll be in a few Wednesdays after that, right? Um, if you would like to check out the blog for this video or any other blog or just contact me because I'm awesome, you can check out my website at www.sheikahenley.com. So let's go ahead and move on into this week's topic. Okay, so um, this is one of my, I guess, almost almost like a YouTube confessional, like these are things that happen. Um, so I decided, because I realized that lots of my followers, I do have a lot of educators, but then I also have a lot of people who are just in grad school as well, and just kind of like those grad school tips. I thought that it would be cool and helpful to just talk about things that I am freaked out about, about grad school. Um, I am at a point where I'm almost done with the coursework. I have two and a half classes of just actual class left, and now it's starting to resonate it's like oh my god I have to take comprehensive exams and write a dissertation let me have a seat for a second and hyperventilate so I just thought that I would talk about things that I'm completely freaked out about uh, now that I'm in my program and I am in this program um, and I just hope that you kind of get some inspiration from things that I'm freaked out about and just how I've decided to deal with that freak out <laughs> so stay tuned if you want to see why I'm freaking out <laughs> Okay, so the first thing that I'm completely freaked out about is my comprehensive exam. Um, and I am freaked out about it because I know that the grading for it is kind of subjective. Um, you know, it's kind of a rubric, but not really a rubric. And it's like you put in all of this work and then you have that moment where you're just like, oh my God, I put in all of this work. Will I get through my comprehensive exams or will I just have to trade all of this coursework for a master's? Oh my God. Like, but that's just the thing that you, you know, I'm freaked out about. Like, I know some people are just like, the coursework is the worst. And I'm like, nah, I think the coursework is not necessarily easy, but because there's a rubric for it, you know what you need to submit to get a specific grade. You know, there's, it's pretty black and white, but when you start shifting into things like your count, um, it isn't really as black and white. And so that is something that is uh, definitely like in my high anxiety level of just freak out. Uh, number two is the research that is really involved because I mean as a doctoral student you are a researcher um, and as you continue on through these classes you really develop a deep uh, respect for the amount of work that really goes into um, just creating quality research uh, and it becomes a little intimidating knowing that you are going to join um, all of these people who have done all of this great work and you're just like, oh my God, like that, that's kind of a heavy lift. Like that's a heavy thing. So it is kind of intimidating knowing that you are about to just join the big leagues with the research piece. You know, you've done research before, but this is a different level of research when you're doing something for like your thesis or when you're doing something, especially for your dissertation. So like I said, I'm just like, oh my God, I am going to be a researcher. Like I have to really do this uh, research and do it exactly as it should be done. Uh, and number three is the independence of it all. And I know that as students, we are independent, but we aren't really independent. You know, you still have your due dates. You still have, you know, your courses from this time to this time. You need to make sure this is submitted by this time. Here's your rubric, here's your syllabus. Uh, but once you're working on your dissertation, yes, there are parameters. Like, um, it's not like it's just a free for all at all, but there are people who take two years to finish the dissertation and there are people who take 10 years to finish a dissertation. And so that kind of just freedom and unknown Known is something that is also just have, has me in freak out mode. You know, you have a set year for when you should be done with your program, but I know people who have, you know, finished uh, their dissertations quickly, and I know people who have taken a, a lot longer to do it. And it's just knowing that you have to get all of this work done, you know, on your own as you're working and just kind of living life, um, but it, it has to be done because that's what all of this other work was for. So, yeah, I'm definitely in freak out mode about, you know, actually composing a dissertation. So as I just bring this video to a close, which is super short, like I said, it was like my confessional, like, oh my God, grad school, things that freak me out. Um, I thought that it would be really important for me to share these things because there are so many of us who are in grad school or in un undergrad, just in these programs, and we're just really freaked out by all of these things. Uh, but I really just wanted to speak to say, even though I'm freaked out about stuff, 
it's not deterring me at all from completing my program. It's not deterring me uh, from, you know, obtaining this goal that I've had for so long. And I know that it's challenging. However, anything that's worth getting is also going to be challenging trying to actually get it. So I just wanted to just share those things to, so that you can see that, you know, I'm definitely freaked out about things, but I do always tend to look at the silver lining or just to look to see what are the positives in anything. And the positives really are like, okay, they're gonna be challenging, but you know what, you're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. If you are working on your master's, you were able to earn your bachelor's. If you were, if you're working on uh, your doctorate, like I'm working on my doctorate, I was able to get a master's degree. Like, you'll be able to do this work. You know, just pace yourself, take your time, and look at everything objectively, you will be able to finish this work. So I hope that you found this uh, inspirational. Like I said, this isn't really one of my traditional type videos, you know what I'm saying? Uh, because it just was really something I want to speak to my grad students and my students out there. Yeah, there are things that'll freak us out, but it's okay. Like there's always something that's gonna freak you out, but that can't deter you from being great, being the best version of yourself you can be. Uh, so if you did like this video, please be sure to click like. If you have not already done so, subscribe to my channel. I'm completely entertaining and hilarious. You need to do that immediately. Um, and then please click the bell if you would like to get updates every time I post new content, which is usually on Wednesdays, but Wednesdays, but sometimes life, and then it's every few Wednesdays. Um, and if you would like to read the blog for this particular video or any other blog that I've written, because there are tons of blogs at this point, you can check those out on my website at www.shikahenley.com. Thanks so much for tuning in. Good luck with your program uh, and I will see you next time.